Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Psalm number 8 O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you should think on them, human beings that you should care for them? Yet you made them only a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honour. You gave them charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority. Flocks and herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Lord, our Lord, out of the boundless generosity of your grace, you have created all things to reflect the beauty and wonder of who you are. But we praise you that it is in our Lord Jesus Christ that you choose to become one with your creation, showing the fullness of your beauty in human form, a beauty that redeems us from our sin, restores us in our dignity, and makes us new through the power of his salvation. Amen. John chapter 12, beginning at verse 35. Then Jesus told them, You are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, before darkness overtakes you. Whoever walks in the dark does not know where they are going. Believe in the light while you have the light, so that you may become children of light. When he had finished speaking, Jesus left and hid himself from them. There are times for all of us when it seems that the darkness overtakes us. The loss of a loved one, an unexpected diagnosis, the betrayal of a friend or a family member. Darkness can come in many forms. And the darkness would be overwhelming except for the coming of Jesus. Most gracious God, you alone are the source of life and hope. You alone have the power to dispel darkness. So may you guide us in the dark times of life that we might look for your light and wait in hope for the coming of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we look for your coming among us, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>